Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually a tutorial using this month's palette, which is the Tarte. Um, I'm doing a Tarte palette with this big one and then these three small ones. Um, if you want to see the products that I picked out for the month of March, I'll go ahead and I'll link that video down below. But I did get a couple requests to go ahead and use a large palette, so I went ahead and I did this look with it. So this is the look I came up with. So if you are interested in seeing how I came up with this look, then just stick around. Thanks, guys. I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I also too, I also too put um, just like a little bit of lip balm on my lip. I'm using the uh, what is this? Absolute New York Grape Balm. It tastes good. It tastes like grapes. Uh, I was gonna prime my eyes, and sorry, now I have to get my eyebrows done. Plus two, I have on this eye. I don't know if you can see, but I have a lovely gigantic zit forming right here, and it's like one of those ones that really hurts. It's basically like having a third eye. Anyway, so we're gonna go in with. Let's see. I wanted to use the uh, Revlon cream shadows as a base. So I'm going to go ahead in with this color right here. So these are the colors. And I'm going with this like, it's like um, like a gold, like a gold shade. And I'm just going to put that on my eyelids. It's actually a nice like peachy gold color. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte palette that I'm using for this month. This was like a holiday palette. And I'm going to go in with first this. It's like a garnet color. It's called Tom's Stuffed Tiger. And it's this color down here. <laughs> and I know I said that I would do a matte look. But actually I was playing around with this uh, the other night and I really liked it. So I'm um, doing it for today. So just go ahead and take a small shader brush. I am using the Sigma E57. And you're going to go in with that. And we're going to put that in our inner corner, like our inner third corner, and then our outer third corner. And I know I usually start with my brow bone and I usually do the transition color for the crease, but I'm doing this to a little bit different. So you just want to take it on your inner third and then slowly bring it up into the crease area. Almost like a uh, like an upside down U shape or a rainbow. So you want to start on your inner outer corner and then bring it up to the crease. And so just do that on both sides. And again, you don't need this palette to do it. Any kind of like garnet, cranberry type coppery color will work. So you should have something like that. So like I said, like a, a rainbow type of a color and then a rainbow type of a shape. And then in the middle, it should just be um, just like a little shimmer from what you had from the cream shadow. So take another flat shader brush. Um, I'm going to go in with the... Get it. I'm going to go in with the E55 Sigma. And I'm going to take this gold color right here. And this color is, sorry, I'm like trying to let you know what the color is. It's called Lee's Locket. And again, any kind of a gold will work. But it's this one right up here. And then you're just going to fill in that, uh, the middle part of your eye. 
with the gold and just pat it on into that like copper or cranberry color which should just be like the ball of your eye. All right, now we're going to take our Sigma E40 brush or any kind of a fluffy blending type of a brush and we're going to go in with this bottom color here which is let's see, Daniel's Teddy Bear and this is basically just like a, a matte like tan brown color and that's going to be like our blending color. So just take it right there in the crease, you transition and bring it up. You just want to soften out those edges so there's no harsh lines. This one is by Coastal Sense and it is BRCNO2. Well, it's just a short, it's just a flat shaded brush. And I'm going to go in with this color. It's just a matte, like, white cream shade. And this one is called Bianca's Coloring Book. And we're just going to go ahead and highlight a brow bone. And if you happen to lose any of the gold or anything like that, or you want to deepen that up, then yeah, go ahead, obviously, and you know, reapply it and then just blend it out. I'm gonna stop there and then I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of that cranberry color or that garnet color underneath my eye. So I'm gonna take a small pencil brush for that, or actually I'm gonna use a flat shader brush for that. And I'm gonna be using the Sigma Flat Definer E15. And go with that same color and just go on the lash line, the lower lash line. Or if you want it to match the top of your lid, then just do like you know the bottom inner third and outer third, and then leave the middle for the gold, which we can go back and do. So for my face primer, I'm using the MAC. So I'm just using that to fill my pores. So just like a little bit. I don't know if you see that. And then whenever I have a lot, I just fill my face. Then I'm going to go in with my, I mean, as you see, I have very light under eyes, uh, under eye area here, but then it's very dark. So just to sort of correct that a little bit, I'm going to use the Eve Pearl in medium. And it's just like a salmon, salmon color. So you say, do you guys say salmon or salmon? I say salmon, salmon. You know what I mean? But anyway, it just... I think it works good on my skin just to like sort of make the two parts look a little bit <laughs> blended together because my under eye area is so white. So it helps it a little bit. I mean it doesn't obviously take it all away but it does help out a little bit. So until I find something else this is what I've been using. I try to blend it into like that darker area a little bit. So it's not so noticeable. Then I'll go in with the foundation. What I'm using today is, I think it's this YSL. I actually lost the little bag that it came with, but it was just a little sample of, I believe it was the YSL, uh, what was this, a conditioner foundation. So I'm just gonna dot it on my face. I'm gonna use um, a beauty blender. 
uh, that's been obviously, you know, squeezed in warm water and then all the excess squeezed out, but it's a damn beauty blender. And I don't like too much foundation, honestly. I just... And I try not to go over the part that I did my eyes because I notice when I go over it, it then it rubs it off and then it's basically defeating the purpose of having anything on. Yeah, I'm still on the hunt for, I guess, my Holy Grail foundation. Again, I have super oily skin, so... I don't know, I just, I feel like I, there's a couple of drugstore ones that I found that I, that I think work okay, but there's nothing that I really have tried that I'm like, wow, this is the, you know, the only one that I will ever buy again. I just haven't found it yet. Once I got my foundation on, I'm going to go ahead and just set it with a, um, just like a setting powder or pressed powder. And I'm using the Bare Skin Mineral, hold on. I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil, and this is in the color Light to Medium. And I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. This is by Ulta. Ulta! And just going over the areas that, you know, I get very greasy and oily, which is my T-zone area. Pat, 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 pat. And I always go down my neck too because I do bring my foundation a little bit down to my neck area. Now, I'm not great at doing a uh, gel liner on camera, so I'll probably go off of camera to do this. <laughs> okay, so that's the eyeliner. I'm not going to do a wing today. I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. Then I'm going to go ahead and just with any kind of a black eyeliner that you have, I'm just going to use the, um, this little dot that's still hanging around, my little Urban Decay Perversion. I'm going to line the, um, my upper water line, or I'm going to tight line, tight line. I'm going to go ahead and tight line my, um, upper, upper lid. And then after that, I'm just going to curl my eyes and do mascara. What I've got to say, uh, for my mascara, I'm using the Lights Tarte, let, wait, hold on. Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. So it's a little sample size I had, so I'm using that for my, um, my mascara. Okay, so I went ahead, my camera went out, so I went ahead and I put mascara on my top of my lower lashes. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to, um, do a little color to our face. So I'm using the Sorme, um Brush and Bronze Duo in Sunshine 806. And like I had said in my um, introduction for my March project pan, this uh, bronzer reminds me a lot of the uh, Benefit by Hula bronzer. So I really do like it. So I'm taking a small corn contour, a contour brush. It's the Sigma F05. And, I mean, I don't spend a lot of time really, like, contouring and all that. I just put some color, like, in the hollows of my cheeks and around my face. And I'm going to use that same blush that it comes with. And I'm using the Sigma Long... Yes, I can't read. Large angled contour. It's the F40. And I'm just going to take that color and just go on like the backs of my cheeks. I like to first stipple my blush in and then drag it. And I feel like I have more control of how much like blush I'm putting on. I don't know why I always able to blush on the tip of my nose and my chin a little bit. I mean, I don't, I don't think anybody else really does it, but I do. I 
And then I always go in with just a large stippling brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk stippling brush. It's just a large one. And I just go over just to blend everything in. I'm not going to do a highlighter because I have a lot of like shimmer going on with my eyes. So I'm not going to do that. So moving on to the Lippies. I'm using the, what is this, the BH Cosmetics, I think. No, this is a Star Lux uh, Lip Wear, I'm sorry, Long Wear Lip Pencil in the color Naked. So I'm just going to line my lips. Can you say? I, I can say. Then I'm going to go in with this, this is a very old lipstick, it's by Ulta, it doesn't even have a name on it, I'm sorry, but it's basically like a, like a pink mauve color, and I'll go on my lips with that. And then I'm going to top it because I'm seriously just trying to get rid of this. The NYX Lip Plumper. Yep. I'm sure you guys are all very familiar with this. I mean, it's just like a, a little dot of, of goop. Oh, I gotta use it up. And that's that. And then what I forgot to do, actually, I still have to go back and do it, I'm sorry, but I forgot to um, take just a very small, this is a, uh, a shader lid, it's the E56 um, by Sigma, but it's like a very small brush, and just go in with like, just like a light color, uh, I'll try this color right here, and I have to do my little, I have to always put like a little color for my inner corner <laughs> to lighten it up, I always do that, but I usually always do it last. It just gives a nice little pop. Uh, I like it. And I always feel like something's missing when I don't have it. So I don't know if I, you can even tell if it makes a difference, but I can see it in my in my, um, in my mirror. <laughs> And then the last thing is just to set it with setting spray. So I'm using the Urban Decay De Slick setting spray. Whew. And that is it. So I'll bring you guys in close. You guys know for my eyebrows, I don't do anything but just, you know, call them in a little bit. So I didn't even show that because I really don't even do anything too much for it. Okay, so hopefully you can see the look. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. And I know I said I was going to do a matte look. Um, a lot of you guys had liked the purple look that I did. Um, I think it was in... It wasn't in the birthday video. I can't remember. It was a couple of videos back, but I was wearing, I think, a lot of purple. But it was all matte. Look. Um, so I'll do that for my next video. I'll show you guys that one. It was using, I think, one of my smaller little palettes for the uh, Tarte palettes I picked out. But I'll do that one next. I just don't uh, know. Uh, I had a couple requests to do with the big palette, so I wanted to use that. And this is what I came up with. Uh, I know it's not maybe so springy, but, you know, I, I mean, I don't care what season it is. I mean, I just wear whatever I really, you know, what I feel like wearing for that day. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not, please subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram. And I'll be doing a couple of back-to-back -back videos because i got to get some videos up. Um, one of them is going to be a lippy swatch. Um, with a particular brand of lipstick, so stay tuned for that. And then also, I gotta think again. I gotta get my. I gotta get a get. 
I kind of get out my uh, my sampled update video. I have, uh, I think, like 10 or so samples that I need to go ahead and film and get that out of the way. So, yeah. So stay tuned for all of that. But I hope you guys are doing well. And I hope you guys have a blessed day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.